All right, welcome back, party people. It's your co-host, Dr. Books the Barber. And at this moment, it is my pleasure to introduce our guest, Brother Elijah the Barber. Welcome, brother, to the show. Oh, Welcome to Hip Hop and Barber Shops. Thank you both. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I am who they say I am, Elijah. I'll give you the full name. I got three first names. Elijah, Moses, Joseph. They made sure I stayed in church. <laughs> <laughs> they made sure. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't be no gangster. I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. Be pray- Listen, there's nothing wrong with being prayed up. There's okay. So that's right. Up. You're right about hey, that. Hey, brother, brother Elijah. Yeah. We want you here mm-hmm. to help us understand how hip hop has influenced your life and ultimately kind of directed you towards being a licensed barber. That's right. Let me tell you, man, I couldn't even play hip hop in the house of my mother. Boy, the first <laughs> hip hop song I ever played was uh, Run DMC, The Christmas Joint. That's how I tricked her. I said, This is a Christmas song, mama. Come on, stop playing now. And so she heard. It's Christmas times. She said, turn that off. <laughs> there ain't no Christmas in Hollis, Queens. But hip-hop changed everything. that um, The way I look at stuff, the way I talk, uh, everything, where you dress and stuff like that. And becoming a barber, like you're really serving the people. So you serving the people. You're serving your loved ones. So we are service to the community. I know we have a lot of fun. Not really messing with nobody's hair because I'm still an apprentice. So I know my man Book is the master. But when I first started out, you know what I'm saying? The lineups got me messed up. You know what I'm saying? The haircut was cool, but lining people up was always an issue. I'm pretty sure. How was that with you when you first started cutting? Well, I started cutting hair really, really young. So I had all these years to be able to just <laughs> experiment with my closest neighbors <laughs> and with myself primarily. And to the point where I got comfortable with the clippers and then that's just how you know so so I didn't mess up on anybody's hair as a professional because I had so many years to train on my neighbors and <laughs> and it was just a beautiful thing to have friends right so and but best believe as I messed them up we were listening to some hip hop in those basements yep. and we were just coming together and that was our little community that was the barbershop before I had a barbershop in everybody else's basement but tell us Today, now that you are in the barber industry, Ooh. this is hip hop and barber shops. Yeah. So, how do you feel about hip hop in your work environment? Being able to listen to hip hop in your work environment and in your working space. No, everything is great with that. You know what I'm saying? The community mostly I serve in. You know, also it's urban. I don't like the word urban, but you know, I say our community. It's great. <clears throat> it gets the people in the mood. We talk. We conversate. And um, now I'm going to give you the pros and cons of becoming an apprenticeship when you become an apprentice barber. There's certain hairlines. I'm going to go back to the hairlines. I call those the seashore hairlines. You know, you know how when it goes out and it come in? I can't connect it, brother. What do you want me to do with this? That bald spot is bald for a reason. No, no, no. To keep, and then before you know, you, you, you burn it into his, his um, forehead and now he got a permanent scar. And, uh, you know, those stuff happen to me sometimes. But I know it doesn't happen to you, master. I'm calling you the master. He's the master barber, ladies and gentlemen. My situation is just that, man, I'm trying to do the best that I can to work with these people, be a magician. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, yo, your headline is gone, brother. Blame your DNA and your parents, okay? I, I mean, okay, let me get, all right. We're here to serve the people. I'm sorry. We're here to serve the people. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just, yeah, okay. Listen, brother, I'm just yeah. this is why, this is the beauty. See, this right here, this is the beauty of the show, right? Yeah. This is this is like a barber shop without the chairs right now. Because you see how we yeah. laughing? Yeah. There's a brotherhood here. <laughs> there is a certain type of energy that is in this room right now yeah. that you can't just have anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So that's the beauty of hip-hop and the barber shops. And quite frankly, stay at it. Right? That's why I call myself the doctor because when people come into my chair or mm. our shop, they get surgery because mm. some come in with the seashore hairlines yeah. or they come in with their hairline touching their eyebrows <laughs> or yeah. their lineup's not over their ear, right? But that's why they come to you. And that's yeah. the beauty of it. The same way we have to fetch and seek artists who we like and appreciate mm-hmm. and we can appreciate their art form and their craft and we love it. It's the same thing when you serve your people and the people are there to kind of serve you. 
you seek out and you sought out that barber that fits you or that barber shop that fits you, right? So speaking of shop lineups, I'm, I'm going to pass it to my man B Styles because we all wish we had sideburns like my man here. <laughs> so I'm going to let B Styles <laughs> rap with y'all. And y'all just got to listen to what my man has to say, please. Man, you know what, folks, man? You know, it's you talking about the sideburns, but really the sideburns, this is a throwback style. You know what I mean? It's a throwback style to like the 70s era, man, when dudes used to have the afros and they would have the pork chop burns out here too, you know? And it was just one of those things that style-wise, I was like, yo, that's ill. I need to do that. I want to bring that back because there used to be this basketball player and I'm going I'm to... I'm going to date myself a little bit, but Artis Gilmore, you know, like you got to be a certain age to remember Artis Gilmore, wow. you know, because Artis Gilmore did win a, a, a title with the Bulls uh, when Jordan was around. So, you know, if y'all know y'all Bulls hidden history, you should know who Artis Gilmore is. Anyway, Artis Gilmore had those nice chops when he had the Afro piece working, man. And I was like, you know what? I need that style, you know, but I'm going to flip it and make it a little bit different. So, you know, we were able to do that. And, uh, you know, so that's that's where it came from. That's exactly where it came from, man. So, you know, we're we, we going to do what we do all the time. You know, but I'm going to throw this over to my man, Will. Y'all just got a little history lesson on my sideburn. See? Yeah. See? Don't turn the camera yet, Spree. Close. <laughs> close, 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 close up right there. My barber's my man, LG. My man, that's LGZ. Right. You know? Ah! Y'all gonna see my haircut next show though. I'm gonna give you the full B styles, yay mean, yay mean next time. Yeah. All right, but I'm gonna throw it to my man Will. He gonna take us on out of here. Will. Yeah, y'all. Enjoy y'all, brothers, man. Enjoy y'all. On the very first episode, the very first edition, episode one, season one. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in, being our audience, giving us y'all time and y'all patience. Please stand with us, stand for us, don't stand against us, support us, because this is the beginning of something great. Everything had a first time, and it was a first time for everything. This is Hip Hop and Barber Shops. I'm yours truly, Dr. Books the Barber. It's been a pleasure to be B Styles' co host. We got Elijah, our guest. We got Brother Will, our musical technician. We got Ian, the producer. Get on in here. And we're just so grateful that you were able to spend your time with us. With that said, it's barber time all the time. Hip hop and barber shops. Please stay tuned to the very next show. We out of here. Peace. He styles the anonymous nobody. We're going to give it to you. And barber time all the time.